Okay, hi. In this video, we are going to continue with um, paragraph 3.8 on the depreciation and the sinking fund. We are going to look at the concept of a sinking fund that includes maintenance cost. And we're going to do that by looking at example 47. So a transport vehicle has been purchased at a cost of 150,000 rands. It is known that the life term of this vehicle is six years and it will then be necessary to replace the vehicle. To replace the vehicle in six years time, a sinking fund is to be established. It is expected that the asset will depreciate at 20% per annum effective. The cost of replacing the vehicle will increase at 12% per annum compounded monthly. Yearly maintenance costs will be necessary to ensure the vehicle life term will be no less than six years. The maintenance costs are estimated to be 2,000 rands per year. The first maintenance will be required exactly one year after the vehicle is purchased and the last maintenance will be necessary when the vehicle is to be resold. Determine the monthly deposits necessary to effect the replacement. Assume the monthly deposits into a saving account earns interest at a rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly. Okay, so we have a lot of information here and it's best illustrated in the timeline. So we have the current value of our vehicle, 150,000 rands. We make monthly deposits into our fund. We also need to pay uh, for maintenance, estimated at 2,000 rands per year. And then we have to find the accumulated maintenance costs, the replacement cost, and the resale value, the second-hand value of the vehicle. So let's first start by finding the second-hand value of the vehicle. And we make use of the um, compound depreciation. And we use exactly the same formula as we use for compound interest. But the only difference is that the rate here is negative. The depreciation rate is 20% per annum, if you remember. Um, the asset will depreciate at 20% per annum effective. So the depreciation rate is negative and it's per annum effective. So we have six years. So there we have the value of the asset in six years time, the second hand value. Then we also need to find the replacement um, value. And again, we make use of the compound interest formula. Um, and the compound interest is 12% per annum compounded monthly. So again, we start with the current value of 150,000 rands and the rate is 12% per annum compounded monthly. So here we have the effective monthly um, rate and we have 12 times six, that is 72 months. So the replacement cost is 307,000 rands. And then we have to find the maintenance cost. Now the maintenance cost is estimated at 2,000 rands per year into an account um, that earns interest at the rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly. So we are in effect working with a complex annuity here because the payments are made um, on an annual basis, but the interest rate is compounded monthly. So when we have something like that, we first need to change the compounding period to be the same as the payment period. Okay, so we need to find I1, the equivalent annual effective interest rate. So we're going to make use of our formula, IP is equal to one plus IM m over p minus 1. So in this case our p is the one that we need to um, calculate. So our p is 1 and our m is the given one. It is 12 because it's compounded monthly. So it's 1 plus 0 0.01. m is 12 and our p is the because it's annual, our P is equal to 1 minus 1, and we get 0 
five. Um, that's per annum effective, or else it's 12,6825% per annum effective. And now we can make use of the future value formula for an annuity to find the maintenance cost at time t72. I can now make use of the um, interest rate that I've calculated here, 0 0.126825, and that's for six years. Okay, now we've calculated everything that we need. If we go back to our timeline here, we've got the maintenance cost, we've got the replacement value, and we've got the resale value. So we will add the top two and then subtract the second-hand value to know what amount of money must accumulate into the fund over the six years. And that is what we have on this slide. We have the replacement cost plus the maintenance cost, and we subtract from that the resale value um, and we see that the amount that need to be accumulated into the fund is 284255.80 and 80 cents and now we use that again in the future value formula for an annuity but we want to calculate the payments that need to be made on a monthly basis into this fund so for the future value we use this um, value that we've calculated at the top. Um, our interest rate, remember, was 12% per annum compounded monthly. So that is where the 0 0.01 comes from. We have 72 months. And if you do the calculations, you will see that you need to pay 2,714 rands and 70 cents. You have to pay that into the fund on a monthly basis. Okay, now you should be ready to do the last few exercises um, on paragraph 3.8. So again, if you go to um, the back of your notes, pages 94 and 95, the exercises on section 3.7 to 3.8, you should be able to do numbers 5 to 7.